Good morning everyone, it's Ranger Rob and welcome to the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel. Here we talk about, I don't know, stuff. And we talk about stuff, all kinds of stuff. Big stuff, little stuff. Guess what? It's a sparkling day here in Central Oregon. Slightly cool, but beautiful blue skies, puffy clouds. It's a great day to be a homesteader. Yes, sir, re Bob. So, uh, you know the routine. We gotta go in the back here. <clears throat> uh, don't have to do much with the garden at all, other than I need to clean it up. And uh, we need to start off feeding the little baby pigs. Yes, the three little pigs. Um, they're doing really good. It was super windy last night. So I imagine it was a little scary, but uh, they have a nice shelter to snuggle in and on the cameras, that's exactly what they did. It's snuggled together and, uh, and uh, well, it looks like we got a little rain too. Wow. Well, also we got some very busy little chickens digging holes and dusting themselves. And uh, yeah. What's your chickens doing? <clears throat> All right, I see. <laughs> Running little pigs. So they must be ready for their for their dinners. Hi, babies. Hi, guys. How are you? Sit on, Bill. What you guys doing? It's been good piggies. Come here. Come here. Hi, guys. Good morning. You hungry? Ready for dinners? All right, guys, let's get them fed. All right, guys, we're ready to feed these puppies. Oh, this is a, one of those days. Gosh, guys. They are hungry today. They got lots of treats yesterday, but... Huh. You know, it's kind of funny. They're really sweet till there's food. Then they push each other around like they hate each other. Then they love each other again. How are you doing, guys? All right, well, I'll leave them alone. They're happy now. Well, I'm checking in on the greenhouse. Sugar peas are still looking good. Hope I get some. And uh, everything else, lettuce is fine. Uh, more lettuce than I can handle. Uh, the broccoli, looking uh, like we got a little bit coming there. And definitely got one coming here. Not the prettiest looking flower, but it's broccoli. And, uh, I hate coming in here now because the tomatoes are so sad, but uh, I may have some help this weekend to uh, help start um, to uh, disassemble all the uh, Dutch buckets. And next year we'll start over. I'm going to do a couple of Cherokee purples um, next year just because uh, I want to try them. But yeah. I, uh, I've been looking for my praying mattis and uh, hasn't been around much. But yeah, I'm going to take some of these plants out of here, give them to the chickens. So my chickens got some uh, bok choy, threw another lettuce out to the pigs. And uh, they should have fun. So last night, Sherry and I went to uh, her mother's. I guess she's 85 today, yesterday. So uh, we took her a couple of cupcakes and uh, some flowers and uh, she was happy to see us, had a good visit and uh, she'll be over here on Saturday to see uh, uh, two other, how well, that got there, uh, uh, her sisters are coming this weekend and uh, they'll get a chance to see their mom. So. Uh, 
Yeah, and of course we asked her what she wanted for dinner on Saturday. She goes, so is there anything you want? And uh, she goes, oh, a couple of steaks. It's like, oh, we can do that. So we'll whip up some really yummy steaks for her and uh, go from there. Anyway, she'll be a happy camper. And uh, don't know what else I'm gonna make yet, but I'll think of it. And uh, so the other thing we're gonna do real quick, oh, why well, was a piece of glass in the property. Go check in the fifth wheel, make sure it's warming up or see if I gotta turn up the heater a little bit. But uh, yeah, we wanna get nice and cozy in there. So I hopped in here in the fifth wheel real quick and uh, the door just shut. Ah, um, come on. Try this again. <laughs> so the door just shut and, uh, but it's nice and warm in here. And uh, Belle loves to come up here. And a uh, couple of, uh, let's see. Oh, another day or so, I'll start adding the water, cycling it through. Might run a little bit of bleach through the system. Just make sure everything's nice and uh, clean. And uh, yeah, this is all set up. People can take showers, do anything they want. So anyway, got that done. So uh, today, guys, it's actually my Wednesday. Uh, we got a uh, Ranger Rob Country Living podcast tonight. So I'd love to have you guys uh, join that every week on Wednesdays at 6 p.m. Pacific time. And uh, never know what we're gonna talk about. Depends on what people bring up in the uh, chat. It's still a fairly new podcast. Uh, it's starting to pick up uh, on some of the platforms, but uh, when it comes to, I know I'm blinding everybody here. When it comes to uh, people joining the chat, it's kind of picking up, so. Anyway, love to have you, and I'd love to have you kind of put that on your schedule and come join us, and we'll talk about anything you want to talk about. For those of you who wonder if we use our freeze dryer or not, yep, we use it all the time. Uh, Sherry's got mushrooms and onions. Uh, our Walla Walla onions, which we picked a month and month and a half ago, which aren't to show signs of uh, getting soft. Walla Walla onions don't last very long. So we uh, chopped them all up and uh, we're freeze drying them so we'll never lose them. And we had a bunch of mushrooms we bought at uh, Costco. Love uh, freeze dried mushrooms because you uh, can grab and go really easy. And uh, I don't know about you, whenever you bite a bunch of mushrooms, seems like a, if you don't use them all, you end up throwing some of them away. When you freeze dry them, they're always available. And uh, just add water and they're like day one. So yeah, we're loving the freeze dryer. Well, it's a little later in the day. Got kind of a thing I gotta get done here. Is uh, I gotta take the uh, gorilla cart over to the truck and uh, get, I have some bags of food I need to get stored. And uh, I just got done watering another section of the field in the back. And uh, yeah, I, uh, I gotta get on this. So <laughs> let's get the cart. Got the car right here, we'll take it over to the truck. All right, guys, we got this thing pretty full. That's probably 150, 180 pounds of uh, stuff there. So I got two bags of hog feed, 50 pounds of chicken feed, another 50 pounds in the truck. And this is uh, the new shredded uh, straw I bought. And uh, since it's covered, I can take it to the back. So. Let me see if I can get this thing to the back of the property. Well, I had a suggestion from one of our viewers to see if the pigs want to eat some of our corn husks. And that's exactly what I gave them. It was two to play with and see, uh, see if they think of them. So far, Looks like they're kind of interested in it. <laughs> they found, found one with a corn cob in it. And uh, Okay, <laughs> I 
think, I don't know if it's a toy or something to eat, but they're having fun. Well guys, I grabbed uh, some of this uh, chopped up straw and uh, the spread net all over the area that's been planted here to see uh, if it helps protect the soil and to add nutrients into the soil and protect what seeds I got left here. I put a lot of seed down because I knew the birds would be here. But uh, uh, some of them are actually uh, germinating, so it's really good. So let's get some of this spread out. All right, guys, we got the field all sprinkled with a uh, chopped uh, straw and uh, I'm glad it's not springtime because all the birds would be still in this for their nests. But uh, yeah, that one little bag went pretty far. So I'm pretty happy with that. So we'll just see what it does. Uh, supposedly it will kind of blend to the ground and help rejuvenate the soil a little more and more. And uh, now I just got to gather my dogs wherever they went. Oh, there they are. And uh, get them in here. All right, guys, getting later in the day. I got to start getting ready for my podcast. Uh, I see a new battle we have is all the uh, aspens we have uh, dropping their leaves. So uh, I keep having to dig like a little opening in the pond just to be able to feed the fish. But it, it's pretty. But it's so funny when you got a yard like this, you work so hard to get it all pretty. Then fall comes along and dumps on it. <laughs> and it's like, all right, we start the game over again. But all those leaves and the flower beds and stuff, they'll cover the flower beds and they'll add nutrients to the beds. And and uh, it's all good. Um, it's pretty in its own way and functional. And so... Uh, we just live with it. But uh, anyway, guys, we're going to wrap it up here. I want to thank you very much for watching. Please uh, take the time to like and subscribe and share our videos all over. Uh, very helpful. Uh, oh, we got a deer. Oh, nice horns. Wow. Too bad I didn't get him on camera. Big set of horns. Uh, bell saw him. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> squirrel. <laughs> Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you're a new subscriber, welcome to the channel. And uh, please share our videos. It really helps us out. So, uh, guys, uh, have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.